Not far from New Orleans' bustling tourism is the Lower Ninth Ward, where the scars of Katrina have not healed even a decade later. What it was in our, our houses, now trees have grown up in the last 10 years. What looks like a semi-rural suburb with lots of empty spaces was heavily populated. This is similar to how it once looked. This is where the levee broke here in the Ninth Ward. It's three times its original size. Behind here is the canal connected to the Mississippi River. Water gushed through here at 300 kilometres an hour, obliterating any homes in its path. We had over three to 400 people who died in this area alone. Local pastor Reverend Charles Duplessis lost his home and church. We got to the corner there, we looked, and we saw the house, and it took our breath away. Hollywood actor Brad Pitt has helped rebuild more than a hundred homes. But so much is still missing. This was originally a home for two families, and looking at this complete devastation, it's easy to understand why only a third of the population has returned to the Ninth Ward after Katrina. They are saying there were over 3,500 homes here, uh, over at least 18, 19,000 people, but I know it was higher because I lived here. Uh, we had over 100 churches on this side of the Industrial Canal. Now we're down to 25. We had six schools. We're down to one that's fully operational. Ronald Lewis had to rebuild his museum dedicated to the Ninth Ward's deep connection with music. I use the term, we was on a respirator. Now we off the respirator, now we running our walk. In a process of moving forward. Traditionally, this was just a blue collar, working class neighborhood. Derek Wood takes tourists on bike tours. High, high, high home ownership in here. It's the highest in the city, actually. It's a upper 60th percentile. They try not to concentrate on Katrina, but its markings are hard to miss. On the top would be the date. It looks like that would be September 13th. Zero would be anybody that they found, like a person. George Bush, who was president during the disaster, returned today espousing how the city has bounced back. Tell that to people like Reverend Duplessis, who is still trying to rebuild his church. If this was a uh, affluent white suburb, would this have been rebuilt? Well, we see that happening all over our city. And we didn't get all the resources in order to rebuild them because when it got to us, they lowered the value of our home. They penalized us for things they didn't penalize other communities for. It's hard to be disappointed when you're still working so hard to continue to gather your family back together, even though it's 10 years. And where, where family was around the corner, 90 miles away. The people who were largely abandoned in the aftermath of Katrina still feel forgotten today. In New Orleans, Mike Amore, 7 News.